Greetings, Sentinels fans! Today is a special day. Today, I release my 50th Sentinel Comics related episode. Believe me, I'm as surprised as you are that I can think of enough stuff to come up with 50 episodes for it. For this milestone, I'm going to be talking about something that has been requested of me a lot. Fan created content. Specifically, the Cauldron Expansion. It should probably come as no surprise that a popular card game like Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is very modular, relatively easy to pick up, and has a lot of mechanics that could be explored, would attract a lot of people who would want to make fan content. Of all of these, I think it is pretty safe to say that The Cauldron by Matthew Bishop is the most popular. So how is The Cauldron? Well, short answer is, is that it's worth your time, at least I think so. But I want to get into specifics. One thing that I can tell was that the people making Cauldron were really interested in exploring the mechanics of Sentinels of the Multiverse, since nearly every deck has its own set of weirdness, stretching the system to its limits. You have characters that play with different elements, heroes with extra forms, villains you want to wait before killing, all kinds of madness. Every element seemed to have the idea of exploring things you can do with that concept, and there is a lot of exploration done. To the point where if you ask someone who is the best Cauldron hero, you will get a large variety of answers. However, it isn't perfect. There are issues with each of the decks. First, the heroes. While they all have cool concepts, most of them are very setup heavy. While it isn't unusual for heroes to take a few turns to get into the groove, a lot of these characters can be hit really hard from setup destruction, and they can't really hit the ground running. You don't have many stuntmans, knives, or Raz here. Heroes that can go at top speed from turn one and the complexity of these heroes make for a huge learning curve. Second, the creators didn't seem interested in simplicity, and it shows. You'd be hard pressed to find any cards in this set that do only one thing. This is consistent throughout the entire expansion. A few decks are simple, but they are the minority. While playing, I've needed to get several games with many of these heroes in order to get a basic understanding of them. Makes for a set that is difficult to approach sometimes. And finally, the difficulty. Dear Lord, the difficulty. You know those villains in the official game that were pretty easy? Yeah, almost none of these ones are like that. What's more, you see these difficulty ratings on the app here? Yeah, you can completely ignore those. Maybe like one or two of them are accurate, but so many seem like the difficulty ought to be higher or lower. You are telling me that Vector is a difficulty 2 villain? <laughs> You're funny. But yeah, Cauldron was also clearly made by veterans of Sentinels since even the easiest villains can be a big pain in the butt. They also seem to be designed so that you have to enter battle with them with a plan in mind. I know that is something a lot of people find fun, where they puzzle out villains and get optimized teams for fighting them, or putting together the most badass team composition. But for someone like me, who likes to play to see what happens and chooses a random setup, this design philosophy rubs me the wrong way. For most villains in the official content, I feel like any team composition has a chance of winning. Granted, some better than others, but a still a chance. I don't get the same feeling from Cauldron villains. The double-edged sword of fan-made content is that it is often either deliberately or accidentally tailored towards a specific kind of player. This means that those who lay outside that design idea may not like it, while those who connect with it will likely love it. Cauldron does a great job of getting a large variety of interesting feels from all its different decks, providing a wide net of content for people to enjoy. However, it seems designed for the big fans, the people who know Sentinels very well and might wish for more challenging material, either in complexity or in difficulty. And if you're already a huge fan of Sentinels, then you probably have already heard of the Cauldron and therefore don't even need my opinion, but you got this far in the video, so. But a casual fan might turn away from it, since pretty much the whole set requires extra levels of thinking. Go ahead and toss Drift to a new player and watch as their brain starts to overheat. You can see the steam coming out of their ears. I mean, I'm certainly still trying to figure that one out. But take your time to wrap your mind around some of these characters and you will probably have a blast. Terminus and Vanish in particular have been a lot of fun for me. But maybe you'll prefer Gargoyle or the Knight or Bakarat. He's a lot of fun too. Now the environments can be a bit of a mixed bag. Some of them are a lot of fun. Others can be a bit much. They are also exploring the design space for better or worse. So to put it succinctly, if you have played the official content and want more stuff to inject life into your game, this can be that extra dose of awesome. I love pretty much all the new heroes, though many have a learning curve. Your mileage may vary on the environments, and will probably also vary even more on the villains. Many players will love them, many will not. 
Now, while I won't make a habit of talking about fan-made content, I will certainly be talking about the Cauldron content from time to time, since it is popular enough that many players find it as much a part of the game universe as the official content. It's certainly been played to heck and back at this point, and there is certainly quite a bit of stuff here that I can talk about as well. Plenty of decks I wish to analyze, at least once I have a good understanding of them. I might even do Distinguished Cards list for them. Cauldron is available as a free mod on Steam, currently a three-step process, but will soon be a regular mod procedure, as a free download for printing on the Cauldron site, or you can make an official purchase to support Matthew Bishop and Greater Than Games. And now I have opened the floodgates for many new videos to come, and I hope to see you when we get there. Take care, friends. Let's begin! <laughs> I'm a bit enthused here. Windows open. One minute. What are you looking at, rabbit? I'm getting death glares from the rabbit. I'll let you out once I'm done recording. I think he's angry at me. And now I have opened the floodgates for many new vid.